Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. So here we are. We've used three names on the list. Next name is Debbie. Nice thing is we're not seeing anything out there. You look at the, the satellite and the wind shear, and the, we do have, uh, as far as the winds are concerned, uh, good conditions because you're seeing that light wind shear all through the Atlantic. You do have this little area right through the central Caribbean and relatively lighter winds across most of the Gulf of Mexico. So the wind, the wind shear, that's not the issue. What we're seeing is just a lot of dry air. That's Saharan dust. You get this big, big plume of Saharan dust that's worked its way off the coast of Africa, now working its way into the Caribbean. You're seeing some of this across the Gulf of Mexico as well. So you're not seeing any significant tropical waves, no signs of any development. And that's the good news. I mean, it has been so active lately. So to get all the this activity out of here for a little while, have a little quiet period. I think most of us are pretty happy with that. Now you still have that big ridge to the north. So anything that develops is basically just going to continue to work its way onto that westerly direction. But you look at the Fox model and you're just not seeing anything developing. What you're seeing is just a continuous conveyor belt of more of that dry Saharan dust working its way across the Atlantic Basin. Now, through the month of July, the areas that we normally watch, remember we had barrel develop further out, but these are the areas. It's typically across the Eastern Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and also the Western Atlantic. So we'll continue to watch, and at this point, I would say we pretty much watch at any location just because of what we saw with barrel. But as far as where we stand for the season, remember, we're still early on in the season. We've had a lot of activity here, but through the month of July, typically things are actually fairly quiet as we head through August, heading through September. That's when we start to get into that peak of the season, which is September 10th. So unfortunately, the message is we still have a long way to go in this season, and we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.